Hey guys, welcome back. We are going to talk about the 22 Arc today. So as you know, Hornady released the new 22 Arc caliber in the last week or so. Uh, it's not a 6 Arc neck down to 22 caliber. It is a 6.5 Grendel neck down to 22 caliber. Why they did that? <clears throat> well, let's just say my opinion is Hornady is a marketing company. The difference is 30 thousandths in the shoulder. They push the shoulder back 30 thousandths for the 6 Arc. But with the 22 arc, they use a full Grendel case. Now, one of the things that, in my opinion, is Horny is really good at marketing. Um, they did this for their 62 grain bullet, their new VT bullet. Um, I have a couple hundred on, on order. I should have them any day. Um, but the problem, in my eyes, is they can't keep up with the 6 arc brass production. How are they going to do the 6 arc and now the 22 arc since it's different brass? So for reamer wise, uh, we have both reamers. So we have a reamer that um, we've been using. It's a six arc neck down to 22. So we have a shorter throat area, the free bore. We have a 90 thousandths free bore. So you can use a 69 grain bullet and below. With the new six arc Hornady brass and the Hornady reamer, it is different than the ones that we've been using. We do have both of those reamers and every time somebody orders a barrel or a complete rifle um, with this new 22 arc, I will personally talk to them just to make sure which one they want. If you only want to use factory ammunition, we need to use the 22 arc from Hornady's factory Sammy spec reamer. So let's talk about the 22 arc factory case specs. It does use a 6.5 Grendel like I say, stated earlier. It is completely 6.5 Grendel brass. It is just neck down to 22 kel. So if you want to use um, 6.5 Grendel brass for your new 22 arc from the Hornady factory specs, all you got to do is neck it down to 22 kel. You don't have to do anything to the body, nothing to the shoulder. You just neck it down from 6.5 to 22. Some guys do it in one step. I do it in two steps. I neck it down from 6.5 to 6 and then 6 to 22. I just think that works better. Um, I've, I've ruined a couple pieces of brass doing it straight all the way down to 22. Um, I probably didn't have enough lube on the neck when I did it, um, but I don't want to ruin any more cases. I use Lapua cases, so I don't want to ruin a dollar, dollar and a quarter um, piece of brass. So like I was stating, 30 thousandths of an inch is the only difference between the Arc and the Grendel. Or the 6 arc and the 22 arc which uses the Grendel brass. 30 thousandths doesn't seem like a lot but you will not be able to fit factory brass, factory loaded ammunition from Hornady into a Wildcat is what I'm calling our um, older 22 arc reamer. It says 22 arc on the reamer itself but it is based off the 6 arc case. So you will not be able to fit factory ammunition in the Wildcat 22 arc. So one of the things that bothers me a little bit is, um, and Hornady is not the only one that does it, I've seen it with Nosler and a couple of other people, um, they always compare trying to get 22 250 speeds. Um, it's not a 22 250, it's in a small frame, comparing it to a 22 250 is, is not right in my opinion. You're still going to be a couple hundred feet per second um, slower than the 22 250. Most factory ammunition from 22 250 is right around the 3600 and we have guys shooting our Wildcat Reamer with 60 grain bullets at 3450. So we posted up some questions um, yesterday and the day before on our social media platforms and I'm going to read a couple of questions I'm going to try to answer them. Um, most of the stuff that we've already went over, um, the difference in the brass, but uh, Lance asked how much actual difference is in the two cases. So Lance, it is exactly 30 thousandths difference in the shoulder. The arc was based off the Grendel case and then just pushed back 30 thousandths to allow for those 108, 105 bullets that, that Hornady came out with. Now that we don't have as long of a bullet, they can fit more powder in and they went back to the Grendel case. So 30 thousandths is the only difference between the Grendel and the arc. Uh, Cody. Cody asked, which case was neck down, the factory Hornady 22 arc or the 6 arc? 
So the factory 22R is actually, like I said earlier, a 6.5 Brendel case, just neck down the 22 caliber. That's the only difference between the 22R, which a lot of us who've been around for a long time call it the 22 Grendel. Terry asked, is the shoulder angle the same? Terry, it is. So it is a 30 degree shoulder. Um, same with the arc, same with the Grendel. It's just that bump back 30 thousandths. And John, John asked, some builders are building off the six arc, others are six five Grendel. Will there be safety concerns? Which is a great question. I don't believe there's gonna be any safety concerns because with the um, 22 arc based off the six arc, like we've done several of them already, um, you will not be able to fit the Hornady factory ammunition in there. That 30 thou is gonna stop you from fitting that ammunition in. Um, and the other way around, if you put a arc case in the new factory offering, um, that's a 6.5 Grendel case, um, all it's gonna do is fire form it. You'll just blow that shoulder 30 thou forward. You're not gonna have any headspace issue. Uh, it should not be dangerous at all. But just make sure you know which room you get for your ammunition. <clears throat> Jim asked, can I use a 6.5 Grendel die to resize the 22? Uh, like I mentioned just a little bit ago, you can. Um, what I do, I use a uh, Redding 6.5 Grendel full length sizing die with bushings, S style. So I use a bushing to neck it down to six millimeter and then I use another bushing to neck it down to 22 caliber. Um, there's guys who are just using a full length sizing die for 22 arc, they loop the case really well and they could do it in one step. Um, I just like to be careful because I'm using the pool of brass and uh, I just don't want to damage any of that brass. So I do it in two steps. So I think that's pretty much it on the 22 arc. Um, will it be a good predator hunting cartridge? Absolutely. Will it be something that you should just sell what you have and go buy? Absolutely not. If, if you want another rifle, the 22 arc is, is going to be a great, great offer. Um, I haven't seen any accuracy data from their, their factory ammo yet, um, but what we've been getting on a couple of the guys that's already been shooting the 22 arc that we've done, they've been using IMR 8208 powder, um, 60 grain nozzler, and they're getting around 34, 50 feet per second. Um, so between the 22 nozzler, the 22 arc, and the 22 GT that I currently shoot, it's like splitting hairs. There's not one better than the other. Just a little bit more speed when you go towards the 22 GT, but you have some problems with that with the you know the magazine capacity. I think the 22 arc is going to be a great offering. Um, just make sure you know which rimmer you get, either the Sammy Factory Hornady 22 arc or what we're calling the Wildcat 22 arc based off the six arc case. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, please like and subscribe and share with your friends. You guys have a great day, and next video will be a good little hunt video. You just give me a shout, a phone call, email, whatever's easiest for you. Um, it's scott at sdrifles.com. Thanks for watching, and look forward to the next one.